Uh, I'm Kenneth Foster Sr., the father of Kenneth Foster Jr., who was taken off the death row uh, August the 30th of uh, 2006, six hours before his scheduled execution. Now, as a family member, and not only as a family member, just seeing all around uh, friends, family members, and just people like you that care, because, you know, this law, it, it, he got convicted under the law of parties. And the law of parties makes you as responsible as the person that actually committed the crime when you didn't have any knowledge or you was a, only a witness or whatever. But we, we need to get, uh, like Scott said, get that uh, paper and uh, call them and just just keep on, just keep, just keep on calling because believe me, I never thought it would touch me like this, and it has touched me and my entire family, and my son's friends, and just people all over the world. It's not just about my son because this thing is much bigger than my son. You know, uh, it could connect with any of y'all that hear this message right now, and let's let's try let's try to uh, take care of it now before there's a possibility and that it touch you. I wouldn't want to see it. I wouldn't want to see none of y'all go through what me and my family has gone through with Kenneth being on death row for 11 years. And he and his daughter also. He has a daughter and, you know, they don't allow you to, uh, <clears throat> to uh, touch the person until they're dead, if they're on death row. And uh, keep in mind, uh, they had already, on June the 19th, uh, 2006, the one that actually did the shooting, he was uh, he was executed. Why would they want to execute my son? He, now, they say that under the law of parties, you should have anticipated that something was going to happen. How can you anticipate what's on somebody else's mind? You know, nobody out there can read my mind. You may think you know what I'm about to say, but you don't have to be right. And uh, once a life is taken, you cannot bring it back to life. Uh, it can be taken and found out later that it was taken wrongfully. So how do you make up for that? That's impossible. That's impossible. And I'm just speaking out right now for all of everybody to get involved in this thing with the law of parties. I don't believe in the death penalty at all anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying that people that are locked up have the right to kill because they don't either. But we have somebody that we all know that takes care of those things later. And, uh, but it's, it's just, it's not, it's unfair. And, I mean, if any of y'all could see any death penalty trial, you would see a whole lot of injustice going on just throughout the trial. And, uh, you know, it's just legalized uh, murder. And uh, that's, that's about all I have to say right now. But I'm saying, uh, y'all come out to the rally this evening, uh, 6 o'clock this evening. And uh, if you, if any, anything that you need to know that I can, you can talk to me about my father, uh, Brian, Scott, uh, Lily, uh, many, many of uh, the uh, people from CEPD. And uh, that's, that's, that's all I have to say right now, but get involved, get involved, please.